Well, very good morning, everybody. Uh, Sunday, the 5th of July. What have we got for today? Well, the cold front, which sort of brought a little bit of rain on it, uh, went through last night. That's cleared through nicely, and we've already got sort of cumulus out there at the moment. But what we do also have is a very uh, significant amount of wind. And this is all centred around uh, some low pressure systems just to the north. Um, but the good thing is now that that cold front has gone through, we're not likely to see any more fronts uh, for the rest of today. And hopefully not too much in the way of showers. We can see as we go through into uh, into Monday that, the, that we start getting under the influence of a high pressure, which will settle things down. But bringing a more northwesterly wind, which uh, generally does uh, destabilise things a bit before, maybe a little bit of a deterioration midweek. But for today, breezy, uh, but under the influence of some stronger winds with the tight ice bars. We can see the stronger winds on here because it's showing somewhere in the region of westerly, or actually dead westerly across most of the local area and extended area at about 30 knots. A little bit lighter than it has been uh, over, over some days, but uh, by 5,000 feet, it might be 40 knots in some places, but fairly consistent um, all the way up generally. We're not seeing too much directions change. The surface wind as well. Um, Borderline flyable here at Lasham. It uh, just depends what you uh, uh, what your taste is. We've got um, sort of 20 knots in the ground, probably gusting up to about 30, maybe occasional 35 knots. So we're rather breezy, uh, but it might be something that we can do with that. We can see on the satellite picture that um, generally that the cold front is now cleared off to the east. And it's yeah generally clearing up quite nicely, and it's already soarable probably in the local area. Uh, I mean, is that Dartmoor sort of wave influence coming off there? Potentially, I'm not uh, I'm not too well read up on the Dartmoor wave, but uh, there definitely seems to be potentially some influence. Uh, and certainly in the past few weeks, we found that wave will influence us. So if if we are going to go flying, maybe worth remembering about that. Um, and that's generally the same uh, close to Wales as well. Temperature today, well, the public forecast was showing sort of 19, and that's broadly similar, though the, uh, the temperature website's had a few issues today, around here, maybe 18 degrees on the uh, on the American forecast for uh, for today at about three o'clock. Dew points, better splits than there have been, ooh, better splits than there have been in uh, previous days, single figures, eight or eight or nine. And at the moment, we do have a dew point of 16 degrees and a dew point of 11. I think the dew point is still rising a little bit, but uh, certainly less humid than it has been in the last week or so. At the moment at Lasham, we have um, generally in the region of sort of scattered to broken cloud, probably in the region of about 2,000 feet or so above site. So a better picture than yesterday. Not too many people in the car park at the moment. Um, but yes, certainly a better picture, and there's certainly a better picture into next week as well. The Farber meet are showing again sort of 18 uh, gusting 30 from the west, um, and this period has already passed, so we're already passed any significantly bad weather, so not expecting anything else significant in that regard other than the wind. Okay, top meteo. The good news is it's not a nil poit day. Um, it is showing, if you do like the wind, uh, that the best area is straight through the solar control zone and it's the Bournemouth control zone. Um, and there you might be get through the north, just uh, sort of north of uh, a Stockbridge area like that, probably working quite nicely and straight into Farnborough space as well. So a little bit frustrating that the best area is concentrated on top meteor down there. Um, but if we look at 11 o'clock, uh, Above sites here, we would have, if you like the wind, a cloud base of probably in the region of about three to three and a half thousand feet. Uh, by um, one, two o'clock in the afternoon, probably cloud base of four thousand feet above sites, Lasham, um, a reasonable queue, uh, maybe the odd shower uh, into the West Country and into Somerset. Um, and yeah, generally four thousand foot cloud base, but uh, obviously very breezy. And cloud amounts, we'll look at that as well. Cloud amounts, bit of queue, um, maybe a little bit more, uh, a bit too much queue out to the west, 
but uh, yeah, it's not a complete write-off. Rasp is showing, this is Hurst and So, let's, let's go for one o'clock. Um, but yeah, sort of 3,000 feet with cloud um, and a small inversion. A bit more of an inversion in the, to the west. This is Lark Hill at three o'clock. Generally better climbs, maybe uh, four and a half thousand feet above sea level. Cumulus, but with a bit more of a cap, which is probably some of the reason also that uh, there's a bit of overdevelopment out that way. Uh, no tam Solent, we'll just double check. I don't think there's any. Uh, so, oh, Solent's active all evening today. So, Solent is active today between midday and uh, that, that's uh, well, 11 15. That's very late for them. There must be some medevac flights going on. Gliding at Middle Wallop, uh, if they're brave enough, and uh, gliding at Chilton Park. So, I believe that's coming to an end shortly. No other major airspace issues as such. Uh, we would be 2 7 today uh, if people do want to go flying. Probably best to come and have a chat with us uh, if you are planning to, uh, so we can make a plan. Uh, obviously, training restarts tomorrow, so this briefing will start covering um, some of the training aspects too. I think it's going to be a bit easier than running two separate briefings, otherwise, it's two separate uploads to YouTube. The booking system is active. Um, so if people do want to ring the office today to book a slot, if you're out of currency, then please do, but it is filling up fast. We are trying to find a few more instructors, but there is a limit. So, uh, yeah, hopefully a positive week ahead, but for today, breezy, um, sort of flyable. Come and see us if you'd like to play in the wind. Bye for now.